Long before William Harvey discovered blood circulation, it was believed that good health was a result of the balance of certain humors like black bile, yellow bile, phlegm and blood inside the body. Further, persons with black bile were supposed to have a hot personality and fevers. This hypothesis had to be disregarded when it was realized that even people with black bile and blood circulating inside their body had normal body temperature Health then came to be regarded as a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being. However, when our body is infected with a disease, we are no longer healthy. Diseases can be of two types, infectious and non-infectious. As the name suggests, infectious diseases are those that can be transmitted from one person to another. While some infectious diseases such as the flu are very common, others like AIDS are fatal. Diseases can be caused by a variety of organisms such as bacteria or fungi. All disease causing organisms are called pathogens. By that definition, all parasites are pathogens since they harm their host by living off them. Pathogens enter our body through various means, adapt to the environment inside the body and multiply inside. They then interfere with normal bodily functions, causing either morphological or functional damage. Some common pathogens are bacteria, viruses, helminths and fungi. The bacteria Salmonella typhi causes typhoid fever in humans. Usually these bacteria enter the small intestine via contaminated food or water and migrate to other organs via the blood. Did you know that Typhoid Mary is a classic case in medicine where a professional cook called Mary Mallon caused several typhoid outbreaks through the food she prepared? This happened because Mary Mallon was a healthy typhoid carrier herself. She did not display any common symptoms of typhoid like high fever, weakness, stomach pain, constipation, headache and loss of appetite. Typhoid fever can be confirmed by a Weddell test. In extreme cases, typhoid can cause intestinal perforation and death. Other bacteria like Streptococcus, Pneumoniae and Haemophilus influenzae cause pneumonia that infects the alveoli of the human lungs. As a result of the infection, the air-filled alveoli sacs are filled with fluid and this causes respiratory problems. Fever, chills, cough and headache are other symptoms of pneumonia. Sometimes in severe cases, the lips and fingernails turn grey to blue in colour. Pneumonia is so contagious that merely sharing glasses and utensils or inhaling droplets released by an infected person can spread the infection. That merely sharing glasses and utensils or inhaling droplets released by an infected person can spread the infection or inhaling droplets released by an infected person can spread the infection.
dysentery, plague and diphtheria are other diseases caused by bacteria. Viruses are not behind when it comes to causing infectious diseases. Rhinoviruses are responsible for causing the common cold. Did you know that the common cold is one of the most commonly infected human diseases? Unlike pneumonia, it infects only the nose and respiratory passage instead of the lungs. Nasal congestion and discharge, a sore throat, headache and hoarseness are other symptoms of the common cold, which lasts for about three to seven days. During this time, the disease can spread by inhaling droplets from a cough or sneeze of an infected person or through contaminated articles of the infected person. Such as pens, books, doorknobs, computer keyboards and other similar objects. Helminths like Ascaris and Wuchereria are also responsible for causing pathogenic diseases in human beings. Ascaris, the common roundworm, is an intestinal parasite that causes ascariasis. It is characterized by internal bleeding, muscular pain, fever, anemia and blockage of the intestinal passage. Since eggs of the parasite are also excreted along with the feces of human beings, soil, water and plants are also infected. The infection spreads to a healthy person through contaminated food, vegetables and fruits. Wuchereria bancrofti is a filarial worm that causes a disease called elephantiasis or filariasis. Filariasis is characterized by chronic inflammation of the organs. The filarial worm occupies the lymphatic system, usually in the lower organs such as the legs, where they continue to live for years. The genital organs are often affected, resulting in gross deformities. Filariasis can be transmitted to healthy people by female mosquito vectors. A vector is an insect or any living carrier, such as female mosquitoes in the case of filariasis, that transmit infectious diseases. Other pathogens such as fungi like Microsporum, Trichophyton and Epidermophyton cause ringworm that appears as dry scaly lesions on various parts of the body such as the skin, nails and scalp. These lesions also cause intense itching. They thrive in skin folds like the groin or between the toes as fungi thrive in heat and moisture. Ringworms can be transmitted to healthy individuals by sharing towels, combs and clothes of an infected person. Therefore, pathogens like bacteria, viruses and helminths are responsible for causing some common yet extremely infectious diseases.